Hello, and welcome to a brief demonstration of the Server and Cloud Demo and Learning Environments Admin to Host Provisioning Process using System Center. My name is Charles Joy. I'm a Senior Business Development Manager for Microsoft. Everyone knows that one of the best sales tools is a great demo environment. I mean, who wouldn't want a great demo environment? Well, today I'm going to show you how we handle the provisioning of users to machines for our sales staff, our technical sales staff, our data center and optimized desktop uh, TSPs for Microsoft, how we get them a machine. So let's dig in. I'm going to start by going to where we put a request in to provision a machine. And you can see for SC Demo we have 129 different machines. But I want to make sure I choose one that's available. So I'm going to choose Online No. We have three available ones. Two are being reserved for another project. But this SC Demo 45 is available. So all I would have to do is choose Edit Item. Click Online. Put an alias in here. Choose a sub and hit save. Now because this is a production system and this will actually go live and I already have a machine I'm not going to hit save here but I'll walk you through the steps just as if I did. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel there, minimize this, go back to my machine that I have provisioned uh, where I work from and open up the orchestration environment where that request that I just created would be picked up in Orchestrator by a SharePoint integration pack that's looking at that specific list for specific filters. This happens to be online equals yes. Now once it picks that up, it passes the alias to a PowerShell query where I get more information uh, from Active Directory. Uh, again, I pass the alias, I get domain and display name, which I use for other parts of the provision process. From there, I check to see if the assignment already are exists because we wouldn't want to duplicate a request. And if uh, that check fails, we send an email notification to the admin group saying this was attempted, but we uh, didn't go through with it. And if, it, if that person is eligible for one and doesn't have one, we go ahead and trigger the provision process, which is this runbook right here. From here, we gather a little bit more information about that user. And the first thing we do is create a CR in Service Manager. So we pop over to Service Manager, and we can see we have a whole bunch of change requests in here. And the last one, CR 648, uh, I provisioned SC Demo 99. And you can see the owner was me and everything like that. And I'll take you into the workflow that actually did that. So you can see, I, obviously this didn't kick off, so I don't have a new CR, but you see I have others in here. I'm going to pop back over here and take a quick look at what this Create CR runbook looks like. So we take the information, notes, reason, implementation plan, all this comes from the previous runbook. And then I use that to populate the ticket in Service Manager using the Orchestrator Integration Pack. And I pass that information or assign data statically, depends on what I'm doing there. Once it creates the uh, change request. I assign a user using a similar process, yet that's another triggered policy. I relate a host, so the CIs are related to the change request, and then I pass the CRID back up to this provisioning workflow where we take care of the actual provisioning steps. And I'm just going to run through these quickly. Each one of these triggers another workflow just like you saw there. So the first one is uh, we provision that user to be in the admin group of that machine. Then we, we do some provisioning in Operations Manager where we create a group and then we create a subscriber and a subscription. From there, we update the SQL tables for reporting and management purposes. So we do a couple SQL tasks there, right against SQL Server, because that data is used in uh, SSRS later on. We then uh, export the management pack as a backup. And finally, we put a batch file on that machine that has map drive information. So every time they log on, they uh, have a drive map for resources. Now, if anything went wrong, we have error tracking through the entire process where I create an incident, relate that incident to a change request, and then email the management team so we know that something went wrong and we can go fix it. If everything goes OK, green across the top, we update and close the change request, send a standard email with some dynamic information to the admin so they have uh, all the resources they need to continue and start using their great demo environment, and then I send a notification to the management team saying it's all done. 
Now that's the entire process. Now if we go back to the SharePoint, this would be this would change and no longer be open. But if we take a look at what I gather afterwards using different orchestrator runbooks, I gather all this information, all this data on the um, machines in that environment. How many VMs does each user have? Uh, what are the available Windows updates that they need to put on? What's the raw data? What's who's in the admin groups? The NIC binding order? All the stuff that I use to manage the systems is reported and bubbled up right here in this nice SQL reporting services report. And I have one of these for OD demo and one for SE demo. So all in all, we're able to quickly provision a new person to a host by uh, updating the SharePoint list. We go through that run book that automatically runs and does all those tasks. And in the end, I have another run book, set of run books that gathers all this information so I can see what's going on. And then, of course, we have other mechanisms where there's self-service uh, connectivity triage. If a person's having problems, they could add their name to a list and it will go triage what's uh, going wrong with their machine, sending an email uh, with uh, lots of information about the box. Just We do a lot from different portals, and everything we do is set to automatic so we can save time. So that's it in a nutshell. Easy way, portal-driven. It touches at least four or five different systems, and it's all done through automation, orchestration, and integration. I hope you enjoyed. We certainly appreciate you watching. Thank you.